ओके जय हिंद टू ऑल माय नेम इज संतोष कुमार उपाध्याय आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द सेकेंड यूनिट ऑफ द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एंड दैट इज बेसिकली इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन सो आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ए इन सी डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो टूडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्चुअलाइजेशन द बेसिक अबाउट द वर्चुअलाइजेशन and uh, in fact in this particular in this particular we have to discuss about the these topics okay so what are these topics basically the virtualization structure tools and mechanism okay so in these virtualization structure tools and mechanism we have to cover these three sub topics and that are introduction of the virtualization virtualization architecture and the virtualization techniques okay so guys here we have to discuss these sub topics let us see one by one so let us see the first one that is the introduction of virtualization so virtualization as we know that that is a very you know that is the very important and backbone of the cloud computing because when we are talking about the cloud computing certainly that means we are talking about the resource pooling okay the, what what does it mean it mean that there is a single host system single set of hardware and we are going to use that hardware among number of people okay so that is the resource pooling so that resource pooling effect can be easily generated that environment can be created by using the virtualization okay so let us see virtualization basically that is a machine uh, or you can say that the virtualization actually this, that is a software sometime that may be called as a firmware that create an virtual environment in which number of operating system that means multiple operating system can run at the same time on the single host machine on the single set of hardware okay so that is the virtualization that is the beauty of virtualization that software enable you to run multiple operating system at the same time on the same hardware like you can uh, uh, you can run unix you can run linux you can run window operating system at the same time there will be one confusion to you that uh, what is new here because you uh, you may think that uh, number of operating system is still we are loading in our pc or laptop but guys that are not actually virtual environment because number of operating system you can load you can install in our system but at one time you are using only one system that means either you are using linux that means when you are starting the system your system ready to boot then you have to select any one not all so this is the difference so virtual environment enable you to run different operating system at the same time okay and these operating system that are running on the same time on the hardware is known as guest operating system okay so certainly there will be a host operating system also because you are going to pool the resources that means you are going to utilize your resource hardware resources your host machine okay so with the help of virtualization you can create multiple virtual machines that means number of operating system a different number of operating system that are running on the same hardware these operating system deal multiple applications differently so these packages means packages of uh, operating system guest operating system and application create a virtual machine that give an illusion that you are using whole machine whole 
our entire host machine. So that is known as the virtual machine. So with the help of virtualization, you create virtual machine. So virtual machine is a software com software computer that like a physical computer runs an operating system and applications. The hypervisor serves as a platform for running virtual machines and allows for the consolidation of computer resources. So guys, these uh, virtualization software is also known as hypervisor. Okay, that is also known as hypervisor. This one, there is the term now hypervisor. See here, this is the hypervisor now. So hypervisor nothing but is a virtualization software. That software that enable you to run multiple operating system. That enable you to create in virtual environment that enable you to create multiple virtual machine on the same hardware, same host machine. So each virtual machine contain its own virtual or software based hardware, including a virtual CPU, memory, hard disk and network interface card. So creation of virtual machine over existing operating system and hardware is known as hardware virtualization. Okay, that means when you are going to virtualize your hardware. Okay, that means you are creating the virtual instances of the hardware like CPU, storage, network, NIC, hard disk. Okay, so this type of known as hardware virtualization. So creation of virtual machine over existing operating system and hardware okay, is also as hardware virtualization. A virtual machine provides an environment that is logically separated from the underlying hardware. Okay. So here we can see that there are the that means in this virtual environment there are the two types of uh, machine. One is the host machine that is physically available. That means the hardware on which you want to create virtual environment. That will be the host machine. And guest machine is the virtual machine. That means number of operating system that are running on the same hardware at the same time. So each each operating system, a guest operating system associated with a virtual machine that form a virtual machine. Okay. So Virtualization means uh, basically that is a computing, uh, that is a process of creating an illusion of something like computer hardware, OS, storage, computer network. Okay, that is the virtualization. So virtualization is simulation of software and or hardware upon which other software runs. This simulated environment is called virtual machine. Okay. So each VM means virtual machine can run its own operating system and application as if it were in physical machine. So that seems that uh, you 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 have an illusion. You cannot differentiate. You have a uh, same uh, means environment as you are using in the as you are using uh, physical uh, system. Okay. So that is the beauty of this virtualization that create an illusion that each and every user okay, have the illusion, have the feeling of using the real hardware system, a real host system. But actually that hardware is divided into different virtual machine with the help of this virtualization software that is also known as virtual machine monitor or hypervisor sometimes. So, with the help of this hypervisor or this kind of software, virtualization software, you can virtualize the storage, you can virtualize the CPU, you can virtualize the operating system, you can virtualize the input output devices. So, there are the number of uh, ways by, you, by which you can achieve the virtualization. So, virtualization is a simulation as you know that that is a simulation of software that create an virtual environment. So, basically how they create? They allow you to run multiple operating system at the same time 
and each and every operating system dealing different kind of applications. So, these package means uh, operating guest operating system and application. Next, guest operating system and uh, application that create the virtual machine. Like this one, you can see here. Suppose this is the hardware. Okay, this is the hardware. And on top of hardware, you install VMM. What is VMM? That is the virtual machine monitor. Virtual machine monitor. That is nothing but a virtualization software. That is sometimes known as hypervisor also. And on virtual machine, due to this virtual machine uh, monitor, yeah, uh, that uh, enable you to run multiple guest operating system. Okay, multiple guest operating system. This is the OS one, OS two. OS 3 and so on. Okay. And each and every operating system run different application, you know, like this one. This is the app 1, this is the app 2, this is the app 3, this is the app 3. So, this package OS and application, OS and application, OS and application, this is known as VM, virtual machine. Okay. So, virtual machine uh, in computing a virtual machine is the virtualization or emulation of computer system. Virtual machine are based on computer architecture and provide functionality of physical computer. Their implementation may involve specialized hardware, software or combination. So, basically virtual machine is nothing but an uh, virtual runtime environment okay, that enable you to share the same resources. Okay. So, this virtualization machine or yeah, virtual machine can be created by two ways. One is virtualization software and other is the emulation software by using the virtualization software or by using emulation software. Okay. So, em virtualization software is a software okay, that enable you to run multiple operating system at the same time. Emulation a kind of uh, software that emulate, emulate means imitate okay, that can translate or retranslate one set of instructions written for one type of architecture into other set of instructions that are written into other set of hardware. Okay, that is the emulation. Emulation is the converter of the source instruction set into target instruction set. Source means that is written for one kind of hardware and the instructions that are written or that are used for some other kind of hardware. So, this is virtual machine can be categorized in two ways basically. Uh, one is the system system virtual machine and other is the process virtual machine. Okay. So, system virtual machine that is actually using the full virtualization concept okay, that provide a substitute for a real machine. They provide functionality needed to execute entire operating system, a hypervisor uses native execution to share and manage hardware allowing multiple environment which are isolated from each other yet exist on same physical machine. So, modern hypervisor are hardware assisted virtualization, virtualization is specific hardware primarily from the host CPUs. Okay. So, basically this system virtual machine is the type of virtual machine in which uh, you know uh, the that is the kind of full virtualization. The meaning of full virtualization is that virtual software have the full right to access the hardware, underlying hardware. That means virtual software or yeah, virtualization software can direct execute the instructions coming from the applications 
on the hardware or that can you know that can read translate by typing some sensitive instructions okay so this full virtualization uh, there are the two kind of full virtualization one is the direct execution and other is the binary translation so direct execution means the instruction that are coming from the application from the guest operating system okay that are directly executed on the hardware okay and other is the binary translation in which some instructions are sensitive okay that cannot be executed directly because you cannot believe all the guest operating system and all the virtual machine so in that case that virtual machine monitor or virtualization software trap sensitive information or sensitive instructions binary translate that into safe code and that is forwarded to the hardware for the execution okay so that is known as the system virtual machine and other is the pro process virtual machine what is this that are designed to execute computer programs in platform independent environment okay so process virtual machine is nothing but is kind of that is also kind of software that enable you to run one applications and that is written for one kind of uh, for one kind of platform for one kind of uh, operating system to other kind of operating systems that means application that is a software that enable some application that are written for one type of platform to run on some other type of platform and that is the process virtual machines to some virtual machine emulators such as kemo qumu or video game console emulator are designed to also emulate the emulate means virtually imitate different system architecture thus allowing execution of software application and operating systems written for another cpu or architecture okay other is the operating system level virtualization operating system level virtualization that allow the resources of a computer to be partitioned via the kernel so uh, actually the, this uh, two type of virtual machine uses the different type of concept okay the virtual machine that are using the full virtualization type of techniques that is known as the system virtual machine and the virtual machine that are using uh yeah, that uh, apply the virtualization at the application level okay that means that enable one application written for one platform to run on other platform that is known as the process virtual machines and other is the operating system level uh, you can also maintain virtualization at the operating system level what does it mean it means the same set of hardware are divided by the kernel into different set like suppose there the storage okay so that storage as divide and each partition of the storage is assigned to some virtual machine or the cpu cycles so some cpu cycles have assigned to one virtual machine other cpu cycle some set of virtual, uh, cpu cycle are assigned to other virtual machines like this that means this virtual this uh, cpu cycle are divided into number of division number of partition and each partition is assigned to different virtual machines so virtual means uh, this virtualization that enable you to multi to run multiple operating system on a single machine at a same time and that give the illusion that os are running on real hardware so here you can see this this is the hardware okay i have uh, drawn this type of diagram now at the first uh, slide so this is the diagram actually this is the hardware this is the virtual machine monitor sometimes this is also known as hypervisor hypervisor basically what is this 
दिस इज द वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर वर्चुअलाइजेशन वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हाइपरवाइजर और वर्चुअल मशीन मॉनिटर वीएमएम भी बोलते हैं इसको शॉर्ट में ओके सो दिस हार्डवेयर इज हार्डवेयर ऑफ द होस्ट ओके ऑन विच यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट दैट होस्ट मशीन हैव द हार्डवेयर ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस हार्डवेयर वर्चुअल मशीन मॉनिटर दैट इज ए काइंड ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक वी एम वेयर यू हैव हैड द नेम आई थिंक वी एम वेयर सॉफ्टवेयर जेन सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल दीज आर द वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द डिफरेंट वेंडर तो दैट इज इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन द होस्ट मशीन एंड आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वी एम एम दैट इनेबल यू टू रन मल्टीपल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लाइक दिस हेयर विंडो इज रनिंग एट द सेम टाइम इन अदर विंडो लेनेक्स इज ऑल्सो रनिंग माइक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो रनिंग एंड दीज डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आर नोन एज गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू नो दीज ओ एस आर नोन एज गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम गेस्ट ओ एस नोन एज गेस्ट ओ एस मैक लाइनेक्स विंडो आर नोन एज गेस्ट ओ एस एंड ईच गेस्ट ओ एस रन इट ओन सेट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ओके सो दैट क्रिएट एन आइसोलेशन एंड इट गिव ए सेंस दैट नंबर ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन आर वर्किंग हियर ऑन द सेम हार्डवेयर ओके सो सम पॉपुलर वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द डिफरेंट वेंडर लाइक वी एम वेयर वर्क स्टेशन जेन वर्चुअल बॉक्स सेट्रिक्स के वी एम एंड मेनी मोर दैट द नंबर ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर अवेलेबल many of them are free of cost license free that are available on the you know on the internet you can download and in fact for fun only you can install that on your own pc on your own laptop and you can see that how the different operating guest operating system you can run now let us see the history short history of this uh, virtualization so first appeared in in uh, ibm mainframe in 1972 that allows basically multiple user to share a batch operating system uh, that you can think that that is a kind of you know multitasking okay then <clears throat> the former definition of virtualization help moved it beyond ibm so a vmm provide an environment for programs that is essentially identical to, to the original machine program running with the within that environment so only minor performance decreases the vm vmm is in complete control of system resources this is the prior definition of the virtual machine monitor okay that means in that uh, in uh, uh, by using this type of vmm you should have the operating system that support underlying hardware there should be the com compatibility between these two then in late 1990s intel cpus fast enough for researchers to try virtualization on general purpose pcs like gen vmware created technologies still used today virtualization has expanded to many os cpus and vmm first appeared in ibm mainframe uh, i have already discussed this so this is vmware that is the modern virtual uh, machine system that is founded in 1998 mendel rosenblum et al that is the for research at stanford university okay so vm where work station separate host os from virtualization layer host os may be windows linux etc widely variety of guest operating system 
So, actually there is a two kind of uh, VMware virtualization software. One is the VMware workstation and other is the VMware ESX server. So, basically if we see that, so VMware workstation is basically that is designed for to create the you know virtual machine on some you know uh, a small type of laptop or PCs on individual computer you can uh, create the virtual environment. For that purpose you can use the VMware workstation. But if you want to create the server okay virtual servers then you have to go for VMware ESX server. So, why we use the virtualization? The reality is that you know that the most server only use 5 to 15 percent of their capabilities on average while consuming 60 to 90 percent of their peak power. Okay, that means there is a uh, wastage of the resources. If you are installing the hardware and software that means server on your own site for your individual purpose then maximum maximum time that is uh, not in use ok. So, in that case you can use the virtualized environment that is provided by the cloud computing. The solution virtualization use one server to host multiple application, reduce energy consumptions, reduce CO2 emissions. So, running fewer highly utilized server free up space and power less space and power is better for environment and save money. So, that promote the green IT also by this way. So, this is the present scenario. Now, this is the time to goodbye all these you know techniques and now we are shifting toward these techniques like for software develop, developing we are using software as a service now. Okay? software as a service, platform as a service and in infra as a service. I have told in the first unit, these are the type of services that are provided by the you know cloud computing environment. That means, in cloud computing each and every services can be categorized into three kind. So, some services belong to software, some services belong to that provide the runtime environment that is a platform and some type of services provide the resources, hardware resources that is the infrastructure as a service. Data as a service, IT as a service and now green IT that promote the green IT also. Virtualization architecture. So, virtualization architecture ki baat kare, to there are the uh, three typical classes of VM architecture. Uh, figures uh, show the architecture of the machine before and after virtualization. We have seen uh, this diagram, this, talking about this diagram. Before virtualization, uh, you can think like this. Actually, this is the your own PC or desktop. There is the hardware operating system that provide the interface between application and hardware and the application. Okay. After virtualization, this is the scenario at the, the, that is the situation here. This is the hardware cross 86 architecture basically that is a you know 8086 architecture, 8086 architecture and that are designed for uh, you know number of VMware type of uh, you know virtualization software are designed for the cross 86 architectures. So, okay, uh, remaining topic I will discuss in the next uh, lecture and uh, so we have taken here all these. So, thank you all. So, in the next class I will discuss the remaining part of this virtualization. Thanks.